touch me, you gods. Wrong I mine enemies, and if not so, how should I wrong a brother? Brutus, this sober form of yours hides wrongs, and when you do them- Cassius, be content. I do know you well. Speak your Greek softly. Before the eyes of both our armies here, which should perceive nothing but love from us, let us not wrangle. Bid your armies move away, and then in my tent caches, in larger Greece, and I will give you audience. Bid our commander lead their charges off a little from this ground. Lucius, do you the like, that no man come near our tent till we have done our conference. Let Lucilius and Titanius guard our door. That you have wronged me doth appear in this. You have condemned and noted Lucius Pella for taking bribes here of the Sardians, where in my letters praying on his side because I knew the man was like it all. You wronged yourself to write in such a case. In such a time as this, as this it is not meet that every knight of offense should bear his comment. Let me tell you, Cassius, that you yourself are much condemned to have an itching palm, to sell and march the offices for gold to undeservers. I, an itching palm, you know that you are Brutus that speaks this, or by the gods, the speech world's your last. The name of Cassius honors his corruption, and chastisement uh, doth therefore hide his head. Chastisement! Remember March, the eyes of March, remember. Did not great Julius plead for justice sake? What villain touched his body that did stab and not for justice? What? Shall one of us that struck the foremost man of all this world but for supporting robbers? Shall we now contaminate our fingers with base bribes and sell our offices for so much trash as may be grasped thus? I'd rather be a dog and bay the moon than such a Roman. Brutus, bait not me, I'll not endure it! You forget yourself to hedge me in. I am a soldier, I older in practice, abler than yourself to make conditions. Go to, you are not. I am. I say you are not. Urge me no more. I shall forget myself. Have mind upon yourself. Tempt me no farther. Away, slight man. Is it possible? Hear me, for I will speak. Must I give way to your rash collar? Shall I be frighted when a madman stares? Oh, God, be God, must I endure all this? All this, I more. Fret till your proud heart <laughs> break. Go show your slaves how choleric you are. Make your bondmen tremble. Must I budge? Must I observe you? Must I stand and crouch in your testy humor? By the gods, you shall digest the venom of your spleen to it do split you. For from this day forth, I'll use you for my mirth. Yea, for my laughter when you are waspish. Is it possible? You say you are a better soldier. Let it appear so. Make your vaunting true, and it shall please me well. You wrong me every way. You wrong me, Brutus! I said an elder soldier, not a better. Did I say better? If you did, I care not. When Caesar lived, he durst not thus have moved me. Peace, peace. You durst not so have tempted him. I durst not. No. What? Durst not tempt For him? For your life, you durst not. Do not presume too much upon my love. I may do that. I shall be sorry You for. have done that you should be sorry for. There is no terror caches in your threats. For I am armed so strong in honesty that they pass by me as the idle wind, which I respect not. I did send you for certain sums of gold which you deny me. For I can raise no money by vile means. I'd rather coin my heart and drop my blood for Draculas than wring from the hard hands of peasants their vile trash by any indirection. I did send you for gold to pay my allegiance, and you denied me. Was that done like Cassius? Should I have answered Caius Cassius so? Brutus grows so covetous as to lock such rascal counters from his friends. Be ready, gods, with all your thunderbolts. Dash him to pieces. I did not. You did. I did not. It was but a fool that brought my answer back. Brutus hath rived my heart. A friend should bear a friend's infirmities, but Brutus makes my greater than they are. I do not, till you practice them on me. You love me not. I do not like your fault. A friendly eye could never see such fault. The flatterers would not, though they do as peers huge as high Olympus. Come, Antony. And young Octavius, come. Revenge yourselves alone on Cassius, for Cassius is a weary of the world. Hated by one she loves. Braved by her brother, checked like a bondman, all her faults observed. Set in a notebook learned and conned by Rome to cast into my teeth. Oh, I could weep my spirit from mine eyes. There is my dagger. Here are my naked breasts. If thou beest a Roman, take it forth. 
I that deny thee gold will give my heart. Strike as thou didst yet, Caesar. For I know when thou didst hate him worse, thou loved him better than ever thou loved Cassius. Sheath or dagger. Be angry when you will, it shall have scope. Do what you will, dishonor shall be humor. Oh, Cassius, you are yoked with a lamb that carries anger as the flint bears fire. The much enforced shows a hasty spark and straight is cool again. Have I lived to be but mirth and laughter in Brutus when grief and blood ill tempered vexed him? When I said that, I was ill tempered too. You confess the mind. Give me your hand. And my heart too. Oh, Brutus. What's the matter? Have not you love enough to bear with me when that rash humor that my mother gave me makes me forgetful? Yes, Cassius, and from henceforth, when you are over earnest with your Brutus, you'll think your mother chides, and leave you so. Let me go in and see the general. There is but some grudge between. 